Today I'm revealing 10 Amazon hacks by answering the top 10 Amazon seller questions, and I'm doing it in less than 10 minutes. Let's get into it. The first question is, what are the best selling items on Amazon? Well, that's a can of worms because, you know, I have clients who are selling $9 medical products and making over $200,000 a month. And then I have clients who are selling $300 backyard items and making 2 million a year and everything in between. So it's really not about a best selling item. I would just say each category has best sellers that are cashing in really well right now. But I will give you one hack that works really well, especially if you have multiple products. This is like a rising tide lifts all boats strategy and huge retailers from car dealers to Costco use this. It's called a lost leader. If you're just starting out, you wanna get at least 20 sales per day on this lost leader listing. And ultimately it should be your best seller. Doing this will make Amazon smile and elevate the ranking of your whole Amazon store. Another note, I wouldn't really be thinking about best selling items on Amazon. I would think about the best customers on Amazon, which is not going to be so much product focused as it is customer focused. Then you just build your product mix around that shopper. That way you'll have a really strong LTV, which is your lifetime value of your customer. For instance, I like selling in any Amazon category, but I really enjoy pet parents. Dog and cat owners take obsessive care of their pets. So they love products that make their fur babies healthier, happier, and safer. These are huge emotionally charged needs. So say a dog parent has an escape artist who digs his way out of the backyard. They will pay unreasonable sums of money to make sure that their dog does not kill the neighbor's chickens or worse, get hit by a car. And that opens up all types of products from invisible fences to training collars and so much more. How can I improve my Amazon SEO? So this one's actually straightforward. The Amazon algorithm is looking for clues to success and it bases those clues on winning listing. Does that mean that we should just go out and copy the top performing Amazon listings? Yes and no. If you just copy the marketing on the listing, you may actually be copying someone's best amateur attempts. But if you copy the SEO, that may not be a bad thing, but very selectively. So for this listing, we wanna rank for lip liner pencil. A simple hack is to focus on keyword density. Just swipe the bullets from the top listings in your category and drop them into a keyword density checker. Then make your keyword density match that of the top listings. Amazon will pick up on that clue and boost your ranking. How can I improve my Amazon conversions? This is actually simpler than it seems, but the biggest mistake that I see is people focusing on the product and not the transformation. Let's say we're selling collagen powder. Are we gonna say, you know, hormone-free and BST-free and grass-fed collagen? We're not gonna say any of that. We're gonna pull out those emotions with, happy women tell us they choose our unique Brazilian collagen because of how it reverses the symptoms of aging, right? It's really about focusing less on the product details and more about the transformation and what problem we're solving. Now, if you need a little TLC in this area, I got you. One of my most popular resources is now free. It gives you swipes from some of the listings that I've personally written that have helped drive 100 million in Amazon sales. The link to that free resource is in the description or pinned in the top comment. What are successful Amazon store examples? Now, this one is fun. I can't reveal my client stores because they trust me with their brand and their success. So I don't reveal Amazon stores unless they allow me to or they want me to. But we do have some interviews of our clients on my case studies. These have allowed us to reveal their products and their numbers. So definitely check out those on my site because those are typical examples of successful Amazon stores and listings. Now, what I would caution you against is going to Helium 10 or Jungle Scout to look up the top Amazon shops and copying those. Because when we're just starting out, we don't want to try to emulate Olympic athletes, right? We want to follow people on their way to becoming an Olympic athlete. What are they doing? What's their training? What is their grind right now? Because their focus is different. The same for big brand stores. Often they rely on brand equity, meaning people already love them and are searching for them by name on Amazon. Where someone who's only on Amazon has to go about winning a bit differently. So my hack, I recommend looking into the top Amazon stores that have started in the last 12 to 18 months. Stores that got a million dollars within their first year. That would be a good Amazon store to look at. Again, success leaves clues. So what did they do to become successful? How do I build a brand on Amazon? 
That's a great question. A lot of beginners actually hyper focus on a niche and they think that that will be their brand. But a niche is not a brand. A brand is all about happy associations. A brand is shorthand for shoppers to instantly understand who you are and what emotions they will experience. So I recommend thinking about your brand as more than colors or logos or fonts. Think about the experience as a whole. For example, let's say you're selling bike lights to off-road enthusiasts. We wanna have brand integrity across all of your Amazon images and even within the image itself. And this is a good hack. Change shirt colors and wall colors to match your branding colors. The goal is to avoid friction and instead make your brand feel comfy and familiar in a way where they feel like they could live comfortably in your product images. What are the top tools for Amazon sellers? This is a very good question. While there are lots of good tool options, most are paid. My answer may be shocking because I actually think the best tool is one most people avoid, and it's actually a hack, but it's also free. Amazon now gives you so much information that surprise, I think Amazon is the best tool for Amazon. For instance, spending time in the review section is probably the most profitable activity you can do. It helps you figure out what to say, how to say it, what shoppers fear, and what their pain points are, as well as what they desire. In fact, if I could only offer one reason for me selling upward of $100 million on Amazon, it would probably be my ability to hack Amazon info, like those reviews. This skill of taking what shoppers talk about in Amazon reviews and then turning it into marketing, it works. And really, no matter what category you sell in, I think overlooking the info right on an Amazon listing is one of the top mistakes to avoid. Hey, they even now show us how much each product sells in a given month, right on the listing. What is Amazon's best seller badge? Okay, there's a lot of hype around the best seller's badge. And sometimes people say, I lost my best seller's badge. Should I just shut down my Amazon listing? No guys, some of my clients' best months were when they didn't even have the best seller's badge. The qualifications for an Amazon seller's badge is simply ranking as one of the top selling products in a category or a subcategory. As far as Amazon success goes, I wouldn't put too much weight on it. Instead, here's a hack. Learn to drive traffic that doesn't depend on any award from Amazon. I'll share a playlist at the end to show you exactly how to do that. Next, how do I rank on page one? Okay, there are really two levers to pull for page one ranking. One is organic, using SEO and sales velocity. The other is paid ads to skip to the front of the line. And my hack is use paid ads to rank organically. It's not as strange as it sounds. Simply pick a keyword that you would love to hover at the top of page one for. Optimize your Amazon copy for that keyword. Then use paid ads to push hard on that keyword. If your conversions are right, Hint, see question number two. You will naturally gain organic ranking and you can slow the ads. Just rinse, wash, and repeat. How can I create Amazon listing videos? Great question. You can pay someone that will almost always yield the best results, but there's a simple hack you can do starting today. However, rather than thinking about a Hollywood production, think upscale slideshow. Create a product video in Canva. Then here's another hack. Make sure to make an accelerated eight second cut of your video. Then use that in sponsored brand ads. They show up in the search results, but if it's moving slowly, it will just look like another photo. So speed it up to get attention. How do I manage multiple Amazon storefronts? If you're doing this yourself, I would say stay away from sprinting and think more along the lines of a marathon. And before you expand, first focus on momentum. My hack is I don't do it alone. I have a team of specialists who have been in the Amazon trenches for years, and that really helps because some of my clients have Amazon storefronts that generate anywhere from five, 10 to $25 million a year. And some of those stores have two products and others have 200. So if you're gonna jump into that level, things get hairy on Amazon. Support issues, inventory issues, growth issues, Amazon ads issues. So you need to either slow down or hire help. If not, your efforts will be diluted and you may be splitting 5% effort between 20 tasks instead of letting specialists focus 100% effort on their specialized task. If you have any questions you'd like answered in my next video, just leave a comment and we'll get to it. Like the videos in this playlist right here. These will help you get more sales and keep more profit on Amazon. Oh, 
And please subscribe if you like my videos or find value in them, and I'll keep making more. I'll see you on the first video in that playlist.